the Young Democrats of America. Woo! I met Taz two years ago at White A's convention in Dallas, and he has been a great supporter of the organization, an involved member, and a Democrat who cares deeply about our shared values. I'm excited for the skills and leadership that he can bring to this job. When Salt Lake City was selected to host a YDA meeting last year, we were not in our best financial shape. Um, and I had a lot of fundraising to do in not a lot of time. Taz reached out and was one of our first donors. As I'm sure my fellow Red State presidents can agree, fundraising isn't always a walk in the park, and he made sure to show his support early. We need someone with the drive and desire to help out chapters all across the country in the role of vice president. 2020 is going to be a year where we need to fight and we need resources and training to win races up and down the ballot. In my state, Utah, we know that the Republicans are targeting our one congressional Democrat. Young Dems will be staffing that campaign and campaigns like it all over the country. We can use our national organization as a scaffolding to continue to train and mentor our next generation of young leaders, even as we begin to age out. Mobilizing resources like this costs money. Doing it right costs money. Taz isn't afraid to reach out to donors, explain the work that we do as young Democrats, and secure their support. We need someone who is an experienced, steady hand to work on fundraising. I'll be supporting the entire YDA Rise slate, and I hope you will too. I can't be there in person, I will make 
make sure you have the financial resources that you need to get the job done. This is how I will best serve this organization and one of the main reasons why I want to be your vice president. Over the past five years, I've helped raise tens of thousands of dollars for the presidential campaigns, for our National Democratic Party, and most importantly, for young dev organizations across the country. Everyone here works so hard, and often with little to no resources. So imagine what we could do if every chapter had even a couple hundred more dollars. That's one more canvas, one more phone bank, one more opportunity to grow the organization and show everyone that this isn't a moment, it's a movement. Woo! running as a member of the YDA Rise Lady, and over the past few months, our team has grown to become a family, especially my fellow vice presidential candidates, Quentin and Terry. Quentin brings passion and dedication to every job he takes on, and has been an incredible national YDA secretary, bringing unparalleled transparency to a very difficult job. And Terry is the definition of grace under pressure. She took on the mantle of leadership at a time when her chapter needed her the most and made a true difference in a red state, right. proving once again that Young gets it done. Yeah. <laughs> if elected as vice presidents, Quentin, Terry, and I will be transparent, will be accountable, and will be available to each and every single one of you. So let's rise together and get the job done. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time tonight, and thank you all. Woo!